The executive governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello Adoza, has been applauded for offering an automatic employment to Elizabeth Yapesoko Egamana Ibasa Indigen, who graduated from the College of Health Science Technology Eda with CGPA of 5.0. By the employment, Governor Bello has encouraged hard work among students and has once again proved that he is a non-tribalistic governor ready to unite the Nigerian people if he becomes the next president of Nigeria. Rai Daniya, who represents Basa constituents in the State Assembly, gave the applause to the governor in a chat with some journalists in Lakoja. The legislator noted that were it to be on competition, the young Egamana from Basa wouldn't have gotten the opportunity of an automatic employment being a minority tribe in the state. He applauded Governor Bello for rewarding academic hard work without considering tribal leaning. He thanked the governor for his massive infrastructural development across the state adding that the evidences abound in all the council areas of the state. Daniel assured the governor of the, his continued loyalty of the people of Basa to his administration, stressing that Basa remains a stronghold of APC for life. Ladies and gentlemen, let's stand up for the champion, the governor Elizabeth, with the CGPA 5 Governor Bello said there was no two ways to attain excellence in education other than being deeply committed, resilient, and dedicated to studying, as he granted automatic employment to a man Elizabeth. It wasn't easy at all, but with hard working, God saw me through. My advice to other students is to put away every form of distraction and focus on their studies. My appeal to the governor is to help me with a good job. He charged the students of the college to dedicate their times and resources to an academic pursuit in order to earn honor for themselves, families, and the state in general. We are paying closer attention to the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education such as you have here at the College of Health Sciences and Technology either, because we believe they are invaluable to the future of science advancement and accelerated development that we so desire. To further boost our capacities in this area of study, we set up the Confluence University of Science and Technology, OSARA, last year. Two days ago, on Thursday this week, to be precise, we conducted their first matriculation ceremony. This will underscore for you our desire to provide as many opportunities for students, for studies as possible for young Kogais and Nigerians from other places. It is my determination that no Kogais who has the brain to study for a science or other cause will be unable to do so simply because he or she cannot find a school to admit them. I thank the entire school administration under the visionary and able leadership of the provost, Comrade Dr. Solomon Anyagu, for a job well done. Please, my dear brother, keep it up. I felicitate when the graduates go and conquer a world, represent us well. But above all, your own self. Be true. For I conclude, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I seize this opportunity to pronounce immediate employment into the Kogi State Specialist Hospital. And Gamana Elizabeth, the medical laboratory graduate technician who came over all best in just the concluded season. I congratulate you and I urge each and every one of you to put in your best. By the grace of God, 
As you are graduating from this school or this institution, we will assure you that job awaits you out there. The Provost of the College of Health Sciences and Technology, Ida, Dr. Solomon Anyegu, commended the state governor for his relentless effort at improving on the education sector in the state. Reasons not far-fetched, lack of basic facilities and inadequate funding for these years. This present administration of the state, led by our education and friendly uh, executive governor of Kogi State, al Dozabelo, and the administration of the college from 2016 to today, led by my humble self, Comrade Dr. Nuhu Solomon Ayegu, have changed the narratives because of infrastructural administrative and academic transformations. Achievement of the present college management. All the courses of this institution has been successfully accredited by the various regulatory councils. The National Diploma in Environmental Health Technology, Health Information Management have been granted interim accreditation by National Board for Technical Education. This has been non-existent for 45 years. But today, under your administration, we have been able to secure substantive accreditation. We have been able to get interim National Board for Technical Education. The college name has been enlisted into JAM, and so we have come to the national limelight. Kudos to your excellency. He made requests for more infrastructure within the premises. Established water factory, such as water factory that is uh, actually approved by NAPDAC, I was given a special logo by the Federal Ministry of Investment, Health Way Water. The dualized college main streets and the installation of four way garden line. This place used to be like den of thieves and den of robbers because there was total darkness. But under this regime, the, the, the major street has been dualized and the four way garden line has been installed. And uh, I want to believe that His Excellency will do justice to it. Less than a kilometer of this road, I want to believe before His Excellency move from this seat to the president of this station, this road will be wonderfully packed. The construction of over 350 benches and desks for students, the construction of roundabout with students' stature in academic gun, we established entrepreneurial development center, constructed an ultra-modern college clinic, which has been named after the wife of His Excellency, Hajia Rashida Bello, ultra-modern college clinic. I think in some quarters, those that have gone there said, I think it is qualified to be called a medical center if it is properly equipped. Kogi State Government renovated, remodeled, and equipped the college medical laboratory to a world-class standard. Today, any type of test can be carried out in that medical laboratory because we have seasoned medical laboratory scientists. We have parasitologists, microbiologists, hematologists, different types of health professionals in uh, the field of uh, medical laboratory sci sciences. I believe that when tests are conducted there and the people move to the clinic, we will as well be serving the immediate community. The governor, who is passionate about encouraging the best of students, and creating an atmosphere for learning, gave express approval, noting that the provost and the management of the institution have done very well with the little resources at their disposal. The provost appealed to me a while ago, and we approved the migration to Cornhurst for them during one of our visits to the institution. I believe that what is remaining now is implementation. Let me assure them that it won't be long from now. Indeed, the Honorable Commissioner for Education mentioned a while ago how many percentage for education. We are dedicating 30% of our 2022 budget for education. I want to assure you that by the grace of God, from the beginning of January 2022, all of your staff will begin to earn 
than the new corn has from January 2022. We could not have achieved all we did in the last three years without you. You all work very hard indeed, and you also put in effort to succeed in academics. As teachers and students, I am proud of you. The provost said none of the past governors, despite being visitors to the college, had deemed it necessary to visit the institution. He recalled that the governor had visited the college for a record of four times between 2016 and 2021. Your Excellency, sir, I wish to state that before now, the management alongside with the academic board have unanimously endorse a change in this naming system. The Alahajiaya and those available lecture hall from today will be changed to pharmacies Abkarim, Asuku, uh, Asu, I mean Jamil lecture halls. The new administrative block, the 32 office administrative duplex that Your Excellency is about to do the groundbreaking ceremony today, when completed, will be renamed after His Excellency Alahaji Yahya Adosa Bello Administrative Law. Because that happens to be the first place every person that visits the institution will visit. Over a thousand graduates awarded with certificates, presentation of awards on some individuals and organizations for their contributions to the development of the institution and humanity were also given. Fatima Yakub reporting for MLC TV.